Hi Virgo and welcome back to your reading with me here Jackie on Romany Tarot. Okay so I'm going to do a general reading um, although it says the month of September it doesn't have to be just for September it's just an overall reading. I just like to put a month on there because I like to do like my monthly readings. Of course they're not as long as they used to be because I just don't have the time because I'm in full-time work at last and um, this is a hobby for me and I just really love doing it. Okay, so we'll just see what comes up. As always, I always pull your oracle cards. So I like to look a little bit more into them. Um, I know, you know, it's the feelings I get from the cards that I go by. But also, I also, as you know, like to um, look at the meanings as well. Of course I do. Um, and I differ to say that nobody else would uh, look at the meanings of new decks of cards they get because I don't believe you know if they say they don't I don't believe it you, you do you just do and it's respectful to the creator and the author of the decks anyway let's not waffle on let's get on with your reading so I'm going to look at your oracle cards first Virgo and see what's come out for you now before I start on the surface of the oracle cards um You've got relationship written all over them, okay? So for some of you, this isn't going to be for everybody, but for some of you, there is uh, some sort of relationship in the air or going on at the moment or coming up where you are connected possibly to someone younger than you. doesn't matter if you're male or female, okay? So um, because you do have from the tea leaf here, you do have this younger man, so dealings, or relationship with a younger man all right it doesn't have to be for some of you it might be an older man you might be the same age but that card did come up so yeah so that's quite significant so first of all let's start off with this um card here from the lenormand deck you do have the ship card the number three and this can be about a journey that you're about to embark on all right, so uh, some sort of journey. This could be a journey in your relationship. This could be a love journey in a relationship. Um, you know, it could be anything, be an actual journey, traveling, you know, taking a trip, a holiday, anything like that. All right, a business trip, anything. But as I say, relationship, maybe you're traveling to see this person. This person lives at quite a distance from you. All right, so, you know, it could be anything like that, Virgo. Anyway, let's carry on. From the uh, past life oracle, you do have the quite harsh word, sexual assault card. All right, but we can't sugarcoat things. So we do have this, but it has all sorts of meanings. All right, so it's not just as it is. It, I mean, it could be, you know, some sort of sexual assault that's happened in the past, anything like that, abused, even in marriage, relationships in previous uh relationship so anything like that okay but also this card the sexual assault card can also be fears of others not sort of respecting you as well okay because they've abused or taken advantage of you in the past in some way so this is about learning to assert your boundaries all right so that's the main message here is learning to assert your boundaries so you can feel safer in your re future or existing relationships all right, so that's what it says about this card. All right, so moving on, I keep saying all right, don't I? So moving on, you do have this influence card. All right, so I'll get a few energies from this card, but I'll just uh, just quickly read a couple of meanings that I see in the book. So the influence card is about being tempted by others or another. Needing, uh, it's also a card of needing some good advice about something or someone, maybe about a relationship. And it's also about a renewed relationship, you know, something uh, that grows over time. And, and it's also uh, the feeling I get is not to listen because this is uh, Mercury in Libra. So this is about not letting others um be tempted they say being tempted by others because of the snake there but other people's opinions what they think 
and about your relationship or you know the relationships or the relationships you get in all right so don't listen to what other people say because with it being a snake you know is it are they are they giving you their opinion and advice for for what reason you know what is the reason there the snake is lower than a I could say <laughs> be rude but I won't but um yeah so don't don't be tempted to listen to what other people think other people's opinions about about your relationship or relationships in your life all right so um and I like that that it says a renewed um renewed relationship that grows all right so that's your card and of course your last card here I'm sorry that card influence card is from the oracle of the radiant sun so we do have this younger man here so dealings or relationship with a younger man all right so that's there as well so if that resonates with you Virgo anyway so let's pull some uh, tarot cards now I'm just going to pull a few from the chakra wisdom tarot and see what comes over for you Virgo all right what do we have for Virgo Just have a look at these. We've got two cards that have come over. The Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So feeling defensive maybe about the love you feel for somebody. That's the first two cards. So the Seven of Wands is a card of defend, defending yourself. Uh, but you don't have to defend yourself, don't have to explain yourself to others, all right, about how you feel here about someone. That is your business, Virgo, okay, whether they're younger than you or not, it's age, age difference or whatever. It doesn't make any difference, you know. Okay, so a little message there. So I'm going to put them back in and shuffle them again. Have a look. Right, so let's have a look at your present mood <laughs> i call it present mood okay the young man <laughs> so you got the young man at the moment so you're really sort of uh thinking about something uh looking at looking at looking at it from different angles uh maybe you're overthinking something as well too much you're overthinking about someone uh let's say the pros and cons of, of a person usually a situation but a person maybe you know nobody's perfect Virgo all right um I'm a Virgo and you know I've had to learn to sort of loosen up a bit and not everything can be just just so everybody has their faults uh not faults as in mind but you know <laughs> as you say it faults faults with an f <laughs> okay so yeah really looking into something all right really observing somebody as well i feel you're very observant here as well really looking at something someone <laughs> okay so let's have a look at your past position oh the emperor all right so taking control of your life that's what i want to say here in the past uh recent past whatever it is but just you know recently you've been sort of really sort of uh i think you've been in charge <laughs> you're the one that's in charge for uh, go of your own life and yourself of course and uh you've been quite happy i think um plodding along whatever it is and doing what you do because uh you can control what's going on you know in your life with yourself and around you and stuff like that 
So uh, let's have a look. So let's have a look at your foundation. Oh, seven of coins. Okay, so also a card of um, thinking as well, because you look at the seven of coins in the Rider weight deck, you know, he's sitting there. We could imagine him with his sort of finger and thumb on his chin, sort of like, you know, what shall I do next? You know, what, you know, shall I or shan't I sort of thing. Um, it's that sort of energy that I'm picking up. Um, it's about picking the best for you, you know, planning making your own plans for the future, you know, to suit you sort of thing, Virgo, all right? So let's have a look at your crowning position. Oh, this has come up quite a bit for a couple of them. I think you're the third reading now that's got the Six of Swords, okay? So this is about taking the negative aspect of a person or something out of your mind you know sort of distancing yourself from negative thoughts okay so don't be thinking negatively so that's what you're doing you're moving away from negative thoughts all right so we're going to start thinking more positively now virgo so let's have a look at your future cards Ooh, knight of cups your knight in shining armor there we go okay so uh yeah this is good. I like this. Yeah, so you've got the Knight of Cups. I did say this had relationship written all over it, and it is coming through looking at your relationship here. Um, planning, I'd say planning. Uh, you tend to plan. I think you're observing someone. You're trying not to pick out nitpick, I say nitpicking, uh, faults with an F about someone. Hmm. This could be you, your energy as well, the Knight of Cups as well, Virgo, remember, moving towards, uh, moving towards uh, love here in some way okay let me just pull one more card oh four of coins okay so you need to open up <coughs> here all right don't close yourself off to somebody all right because uh because of you know what people think maybe you know just open yourself up to uh something that's coming in here with the four of coins Okay, so as I said, they are shorter than I used to do because I just don't have the time now. So the time now is, I said they'd do this reading. I started these readings on, on the, uh, really the 28th last night. But now it's, um, it's 1.36 in the morning <laughs> and I, I've got two more readings to do. So uh, yeah, now it's the 29th of August, 2023. All right, Virgo, I won't waffle on. I'll leave it there. Uh, please do take care. Thank you for listening and I'll be back very soon. Bye, Virgo.